Well, Miss Teen USA also resigning just days later, also citing mental health. Dozens of Miss USA contestants now calling for full transparency from the pageant. The pageant's president responding to the sudden resignation saying, quote, the well-being of all individuals associated with Miss USA is my top priority. Well, there's a lot going on here. So here to lead us through the controversy is the editor-in-chief of JustInLife.com, Nakia Nichelle. Nakia, thanks for being with us. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. So with all these moving parts, and we're twins today, by the way. You look good today, know, looking good today. I saw that. Yes, I saw that. I was like, we're both pretty in pink today, <laughs> yeah. so I'm loving it. Um, you look gorgeous. Thanks. So with all these moving parts and the resignations and social media posts, can you break down for us just the nuts and bolts, exactly what's going on here? Absolutely. So as you mentioned earlier in the week, um, Miss USA decided and made the announcement that she was stepping down as Miss USA, which definitely set off a string of departures and also prompted larger questions around the inner workings of the organization. So then um, two other resignations also happened. We saw that um, Miss Teen USA stepped down, and then that was on Wednesday, and then Ariana Lemus, who represented Colorado at Miss USA in 2023, stated on Friday that she was resigning in solidarity after seeing what was happening with Miss USA. So we have those string of resignations, but then that ensued fans wanting to know what is going on. This is a history maker. This is not like, okay, other people have stepped down and decided not to, you know, reign the title anymore. This is huge. This is like the first step down in history. So it really set off alarm bells when Miss USA did it, then Miss Teen USA, and then Ariana Lemus. So we have three people. There's been, um, I also saw just with all the rumblings going on because people were trying to figure out and find out what is happening. Um, it, it's seeming like with everything happening so close to get together, it was causing fans to side eye the organization and really realize there's clearly something going on. And the the first thing that happened was mm -hmm. um, Miss USA and all of the, the you know, um, uh, title holders were basically under NDA, which caused fans to say, uh-uh, no. Okay. Release them from this NDA. We need to know what happened. Right. And it, a statement has come out about the inner workings and what happened with uh, Miss USA. Yeah, and for some people who are, you know, feeling like they're getting into the weeds with all of this and can hardly even relate to it. It's beautiful to look at the glitz, the glamour, the, you know, the shine and everything, but some people can't relate to it. But to put ourselves in their shoes, imagine giving up your dream job, something you work for. If you're an athlete, something mm -hmm. you've worked so, so hard for, you know, and then you're, you're willing to just go, you know what, this is actually not for me now that I'm inside of it. Um, Laura Engel, on News Nation Live just before our program spoke with a former Miss America, Kara Mund. Take a listen to what she has to say about all this. But when you're in the job and you are silenced, you're bullied in that job from the leadership, um, I don't think it's just mental health alone. I think she really felt like I am a representative of this organization. I am going to stand up for women. And Nikia, I want you to respond to this as well. So NBC News actually obtained Miss USA Noelia Voigt's resignation letter to Layla Rose, the president of Miss USA Now, where she actually describes an incident of sexual harassment in Florida, where she was left alone in a car with a man who she says made several inappropriate statements to me about his desire to enter into a relationship with me. This is according to her. So Voigt saying that Rose responded to the incident by telling her, we cannot prevent people saying things to you at public appearances. It is unfortunately part of the role you're in as a public figure. What do you make of the, this back and forth here? Um, I really believe that people are trying to kind of 
save face in this situation, of course. Um, first and foremost, just like a celebrity or anyone that is working in any kind of organization or corporate structure, um, need to be protected. They are very visible, but at the same token, there is some type of protection that needs to be enacted by said employer or said um, person, mm. organization that they're representing. Um, I do believe that there's going to be some toxic workplace environments, and this is one of those situations where it's looking like, uh, you know, the organization is toxic. Well, we will continue to follow it. We'll continue to follow it for sure. I mean, you know the, the pressure that all of these women are under. Um, you would think they would know what they're getting into, but then they get into it and it's even more, perhaps, or in a different way than they ever anticipated and dreamed of, and then they give up their dream job. It's it's, it's sad for both of these women, and we wish them well. Uh, Nikia, Michelle, Absolutely. thank you so much for joining us here on News Nation. Nisha, yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you thank so you. much for having me. Have thank a good you. one. Got it. All right.